to happen to black people in America. There's a reason why black people have been economically undermined because it's very easy to control poor people. When people are poor, you can do whatever you want to to them and they won't have the economic power to fight back. They won't have the economic power to put a politician into power to help them out. They won't have the economic base to really take care of their basic needs. So then you can control them any way you want to. 1866 and, uh, and up to about 19, into the 1920s, Black folk had the greatest economic achievement they've ever had in this country. Even though even under, it didn't occur under integration, it occurred under segregation. Those black folk had, had managed to acquire over 20 million acres of land, in, according to the United States Census in 1920. 20 million acres of land. But between 1920s and 1950s, they lost almost all of it. Back in the 1920s and up to the 1940s, we had black broom factories, we had black mattress factories. Almost every black major city had at least two cab companies. We had, uh, we had black bus companies, we had black shipyard up here in Baltimore. And when I say black bus lines, I'm not talking about just having three or four buses. We had over 500 buses. And, our, and this is in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And our bus, our bus company didn't just service just the black neighborhoods, it serviced the blacks and the white neighborhoods. We had two black cab companies. We had the Harris Cab Companies and the Campbell City Cab Companies. But they used to have their own restaurants, they had the best nightclubs in the country. The black blacks had two baseball leagues. Each baseball league had eight teams. We had over 500 of the best baseball players in the world. But what did they do? They wanted to integrate. So as soon as they put Jackie Robinson with the, with the, with the, uh, on, the, on the Brooklyn Dodgers, black folks said, we'll give up all of our black baseball leagues, black teams, and all our black players, and we can just get one black boy to play on a white team. See, white folk lend us money. They don't pay us, because they know that they're going to get it right back. 